Hello dear friends, how are you? Hope everyone is well. Today, we're delving into a topic that has captured human curiosity for centuries. The quest for life on Mars. An intriguing question lingers in the minds of scientists and space enthusiasts alike. Have we found any animals on the red planet? As we stand on the brink of new discoveries, the answer remains tantalizingly close. So buckle up and join us as we embark on this fascinating journey of discovery. The red planet Mars has always intrigued us with its mysteries and the possibility of life. A cosmic neighbor that has captured our curiosity and imagination, it has been the target of numerous missions, each one seeking to unravel its enigmas. The journey started in earnest in the late 70s with the Viking missions, which were our first real attempts to search for life on Mars. Since then, a fleet of rovers and satellites have followed, each armed with more sophisticated technology. From spirit and opportunity to curiosity and perseverance, these robotic explorers have been our eyes and ears on the Martian surface, studying its geology, climate and potential for habitability. These missions have provided valuable data, revealing a planet that once had conditions suitable for life. They've discovered evidence of ancient water, organic molecules and even seasonal methane emissions. But the million dollar question remains, have we found any animals on Mars, on EA? When we talk about finding animals on Mars, we're not talking about lions and tigers, but rather microbial life. The exploration of Mars has been a thrilling journey, one that has been made possible by our intrepid Mars rovers. These rovers, in their quest to unravel the mysteries of the red planet, have brought back fascinating insights. One of the most significant of these is the discovery of water ice. Yes, you heard it right, water ice on Mars. This discovery is not just about finding water in another planet, it's much more than that. It's about the possibilities it opens up. You see, here on Earth, wherever we find water, we find life. So the existence of water on Mars naturally leads us to wonder, could there have been life on Mars too? Beyond the discovery of water ice, our rovers have also found evidence suggesting that Mars once had vast bodies of water, ancient riverbeds, dried up lakes, and even what seems like an old ocean bed. These are not just fascinating geological features, they are potential cradles of life. Imagine, millions of years ago, Mars might have had bodies of water, just like Earth, and in those waters, maybe, just maybe, tiny microbes were thriving. We're talking bacteria, algae or other simple organisms, not dinosaurs or Martians. But even these humble microbes would be a groundbreaking discovery, wouldn't they? These findings have significantly fueled the optimism of scientists. They give us hope, hope that Mars, our neighbor, was not always a barren, inhospitable world. Hope that it might have once been a world teeming with life, however microscopic that life might have been. While we haven't found any definitive proof of life yet, these findings give us hope. And that hope, dear friends, is what drives us to keep exploring, to keep looking at the stars and wondering what else is out there. With water ice present on Mars, the possibility of future life, even if it's microbial, cannot be ruled out. So, let's dive into the possibilities of terraforming Mars, a concept that sounds straight out of a science fiction novel, but is actually a significant area of research today. Terraforming, in simple terms, means modifying a planet's environment to make it Earth-like and hence habitable for humans and other life forms. Now, Mars might seem like an inhospitable desert now, but scientists believe that it once had a climate similar to Earth. The idea of terraforming Mars revolves around recreating those conditions. The process would involve warming the planet, thickening the atmosphere, and introducing water and oxygen. Sounds like a Herculean task, doesn't it? Well, theories suggest different methods to achieve this. One popular idea is to release greenhouse gases into the Martian atmosphere to trap heat, a process known as the greenhouse effect. Another theory suggests using giant mirrors to reflect sunlight onto the planet's surface, thereby warming it up. However, let's not get ahead of ourselves. These are theories, and terraforming Mars, if possible, would be a process that takes centuries, if not millennia. Meanwhile, the search for life on Mars continues. The presence of water ice on the planet's poles and the discovery of possible liquid water under its surface raise hope. If there's water, there could be life even if it's in the form of microbes. And who knows, these microbes could be the first step to introducing complex life forms to Mars. 
Moreover, the ongoing research and missions to Mars are not just about finding life, they're also about understanding whether the Red Planet can support future human colonies. While we haven't found animals per se on Mars, the Red Planet continues to hold potential for future life. And as we continue to explore, the mysteries of Mars are slowly unfolding, one discovery at a time. It's a fascinating journey, isn't it? One that keeps us looking up at the stars with endless curiosity and wonder. The exploration of Mars is a testament to human curiosity and our quest for knowledge. This journey, propelled by our insatiable thirst for understanding, has taken us to the red planet, Mars, in search of life. Throughout our voyage today, we've navigated the intriguing topic of whether there are animals on Mars. The truth is, as of now, we have not found any animals or complex life forms on the Martian surface. But remember, this doesn't mean that Mars is devoid of life. It's important to note that our search is primarily focused on microbial life, the simplest and most resilient form of life we know. From the search for life on Mars to our exciting findings, we've seen how the red planet could have possibly supported life in the past. We've delved into the evidence of ancient water bodies and the presence of crucial life-sustaining elements like carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. These findings fuel our hope and enthusiasm to continue the search. Looking ahead, the possibility of future life on Mars remains a tantalizing prospect, one that could redefine our understanding of life itself. As we continue to explore and learn more about this intriguing planet, who knows what we might discover next. In conclusion, though we haven't found animals on Mars, the search for life continues. It's a remarkable journey of discovery, one that we are all a part of. Comment your opinion after watching the video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss such videos.